Hey friend, in this video, I wanna talk about the number one mistake I see every single artist making and why you shouldn't be making it. So if that sounds like you because it's everyone, then let's dive in. So the number one mistake that I see every single artist, my students in my online courses, my students, you guys watching these YouTube videos, emails that flood into our inbox and my DMs is perfectionism. That is the biggest, number one biggest mistake that artists across the board in any creative endeavor are making is that they're striving for perfection. And something that I wanna tell you, I wanna tell you guys a little story about, I don't know if you've read this book called Art and Fear. It's a great audiobook if you haven't read it, but the authors in that book highlight this study that was done by a professor, I think it was in the University of Florida, who was a ceramics professor. So at the beginning of the semester, he breaks his entire ceramics classroom into two groups. One group, he tells, by the end of the semester, you are gonna be graded by the amount of ceramics that you create. So your grade is based on quantity and that's your grade. The second group, he said, you only are gonna make one piece of pottery, but it has to be so good and so timeless that that is your project for the semester. You're working on one amazing, timeless piece of pottery. So we have the group that is gonna be graded on quantity and the group that is gonna be graded on quality. And who do you think, which group came through with the best pottery? Across the board, every single time uh, the best pottery was chosen, it was chosen from the quantity group. And what does that say about what we create? It says that quantity, the amount of times we do something, the better we get. So if we try to spend all of our focus and all of our energy on making every single painting that we do the best that it can be, we're never gonna come up with an amazing painting. Instead, the way to come to your own style as an artist and to blossom as an artist and actually grasp things and get better and see growth in your art practice is quantity. So it doesn't matter what the end result looks like. As long as you keep churning out work, you keep practicing, you keep going back to the drawing board and release that pressure on yourself that every painting has to be good or it doesn't even necessarily mean that it has to be perfect. So many people strive for it to be exactly like the teacher's looks or that it needs to look this certain way and it doesn't look like this artist that I love's piece or whatever. Scratch that, start over, and just focus on repetition. You are never going to get good at something unless you practice it over and over and over again. So this is your little permission slip in video form to stop striving for perfectionism, to stop striving for even just trying to make it look good even. Sometimes they're gonna look bad. There's things that end up in the trash can all the time for me and I'm a decade into a being a professional artist. I've written two best-selling watercolor books. I teach hundreds of thousands of people online how to do watercolor. I constantly throw paintings in the trash. But the number one thing that I credit to being a better artist over the last decade is the amount of practice that I've put in. I, especially in the first few years of learning watercolor, I became obsessed and was literally painting nonstop. And that helped me to grow exponentially faster than if I were so worried and focused on making every little thing that I was learning perfect the first go. So my students at my art retreats, in my workshops, online, the comments that we receive, hands down, this is your biggest block and it's striving for perfectionism. Throw that out the window, just keep painting, don't stop painting and trust me, you will get better and better and soon enough, you'll wow yourself with your own talent. So I hope that was encouraging for you. Let me know in the comments below if you have any other helpful tips on overcoming perfectionism. This is something I'm very, very passionate about, especially in teaching artists how to develop their own style and find their own voice with my online course, The Art Within. So if you haven't checked out that course and you wanna learn how to find your voice as an artist and work through other topics just like this one, then make sure you check out The Art Within. It's at jennarini.com forward slash the dash art dash within. Amazing online course. We've helped hundreds and hundreds of people through this course develop their own style and get better as an artist. I also have a free ebook if you're just getting started with watercolor and you wanna learn all the things 
things that go into supplies, techniques, color theory, composition, all of that, then check out the Complete Beginner's Guide to Watercolor ebook. It's completely free. As always, thank you so much for watching these videos and I will see you in the next one.